meron ba o wala ang operation tambay? Semantics mami, sa akin wala akong operation sa tambay. Ang operation ko is enforcement ng city ordinances addressing the discipline of the people living in Quezon City. Palikan po natin yung statement, the President framed tambays as potential troublemakers. Potential. Uh -huh. Wala pa yung trouble. If you're a tambay, you're a potential troublemaker. At yun po yung kanyang directive. Kaya po nag-spike. Kaya po merong nangyari na hindi naman nag-violate ng ordinance, nakabihes, hinuli, kasi na pagkamalan or na perceived na potential troublemaker. Even this guy who died, si Genesis, hinuli yan kasi potential troublemaker. Wala pa namang trouble na ginagawa. Mm -hmm. And we, we should make a distinction between the issue of arbitrary arrest and the issue of congestion. These are two separate issues. Pero given the issue of congestion, the police should not have conducted arbitrary arrests. Alam na nga nila na punong-puno na yung ano nila. Nag-arbitrary arrest. So the sila. only reason why can they are doing that is because they have a quota. I believe so. They were I trying know. to, that's, to what execute, that's what you're trying to say. They were trying to execute a, quota. a, a perceived directive from the president to go against tambays. Kaya po ang tawag dito initially Operation Tambay eh. Ngayon lang po naman yuri reframe yung... No, yung but it, it makes sense. Operation mm -hmm. Tambay po talaga ang tawag nila dyan. And even before that pa, if you read the earlier accounts, it was Operation Rodi. Operation? Rodi. Ano yun? Based Based on did, the, you, did you know anything about Operation Rodi? General Esquivel? Man, two months pa lang ako since April 25, I did not order Yun po, uh, tapos naging Rodi. Operation Tambay. Tapos ngayon, sinasabi na nila na hindi lang tambay ang hinuhulay yung mga nag-violate ng ordinance, which is good. That means now they're recognizing because of the public ano, uproar, they're now saying and they're now correcting and disciplining the police. Sandali, pagkatambay lang, walang kasalanan. And I, and I praise si General Al Albayalde at si General uh, 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 si Eliazar. Na talagang ine-educate niya yung kapulisan na pagtambay, walang ginagawang violation, huwag nyo nang huhulihin. Pero, sa so natutuwa po kami na nangyayari na yan. But you know, the, pres the president said that, you know, what I say is law unless the Supreme Court reverses it. And you're saying unequivocally that he is wrong in saying that? Yeah, anybody who says what I say is the law is wrong, whether or not he's the president. Ang masasabi ko lang po, ang, ang presidente po ang aming commander-in-chief. Sometimes po, may sinasabi ang presidente namin, but you have to read between the lines. So, pag may sinabi po siya, itatranslate po namin yon sa police action. And then, kinaklarify po namin sa aming chief PNP. Eh, ang masasabi kaya ko Makati lang po, said, kung sinabi, ng, kung sinabi ng presidente, batas yun. Is that correct? Is what the president says the law? No, no, it's not. No, uh, Congress makes the law. Eh, sinabi nyo eh. Siya ang commander-in-chief namin. Uh, what does that mean? If he says something, you will follow it, even if you know it's wrong? Meron po kami yung tinatawag na commander's intent. So, commander's pagka, intent? Opo. Oh, ano, ano yun? Napaka-exciting yata yun. <laughs> Kasi po, may sasabihin po yung commander, you must know between the lines kung paano may execute yung order niya. So, pag may sinabi siya, magkaklarify po kami. Since the President made that speech, yung June 13, uh, uh, regarding tambays, nag-spike po yung arrests of tambays. An average of 1,000 a day. 1,000 arrests a day. Congested na nga, naghabul pa ng quota. 1,000 a day. Sa ngayon po, ang, ang, yung latest figures po na nabasa namin noon na, Na, na narinig is 16,000 arrests. I'd like to, ma'am, to clarify, yung tambay na sinasabi, hindi ma'am krimin yun. Kaya nga eh. Hindi, in, wala po kaming hinuhuli na tao na, dahil naglo-loiter lang. Oo. Uh -uh. Wala po, zero uh -uh. po doon. Nanghuhuli kami pag nakahubad ka, naglalakad, kasi batas po sa Quezon City yun. Nanghuhuli kami pag nag-yoverinate ka sa public, nag ka in public, uminom ka sa kalsada mismo, mm -hmm. minor hindi namin hinuhuli. Nililiwanag ko po, ang minor hindi po inaaresto. Ang minor po ay nire-rescue. Pag may bata ho sa kalsada, katulad nung nakatulog na lang na nagtitinda ng sampagita, mm. 
hindi ba namin ho i-rescue yun? Mm -mm. Eh, pulis po kami. Yun po ang mandato namin eh. Pero the term that was, that was used by President Duterte was arrest. Sabi niya, under 18, arrestohin. Sa, sa amin naman po, ang pagkaka... Pero hindi niyo ang pagkaka, hindi nyo, hindi ang pag, sinunod. Ang pagka, sinunod po namin, pero ni-rescue namin ang term namin. Ni-rescue namin. Pag minor po kasi... Uh, eh, Kinorite niyo, eh, um, kin niyo yung terminology. Kasi yung, po sa batas naman po, hindi President naman po yun na... Hindi ko naman kinukorek si Presidente, ma'am. <laughs> Why? Ang, Are you afraid lang, to correct President Ang aking lang po, ma'am, nire-rescue pag bata po. Oo. Uh -uh. Are you afraid to correct President Duterte? Ang sinasabi ko lang, ma'am, may order kami na mag-implement, ma'am, ng rest ng sa mga bata.